Okay, hi and welcome to the 2017 paper one of the Junior Cert Higher Level. And this is uh, question four. Okay, so um, cards on the table. I do not like this question. It's very, very tricky, especially the last part. But this is on the Junior Cert. Um, and it's, it's tough. So the first part here is about 10D, so there's a lot of parts going on here. And they're actually marked together. Um, so question four, you've got two drinks, Frutex and Juicy are two different drinks. Now I would suggest you try these questions yourself, so pause it if you want, and you know, if you give it up or if you, whatever, look at it later on. Uh, if you want the set of notes for this, uh, the screen grabbed question and the answer on the subsequent page, just email me at shanetry at gmail.com. So a shop buys cartons of Frutex from the UK. In December 2015, the exchange rate was that. Okay, so let turn on my thing. So, once you've got exchange rate, that's your statement, your equation. Now, the shop bought Frutex for £380. Find the price of Frutex in Euro. Okay, so the problem with this exchange rate is we've given Euro towards pounds. We want pounds to you. So, how many Euros are in one pound? Now, the way to convert something like this is to divide this by itself. If you do it to one side, you do it to both sides. So, 0.7241 divided by itself it gives you one pounds equals whatever 1 divided by 0 0.7241 is. Okay, so I've done it here. So I end up with, uh, actually I'm just going to use that statement. Instead of going decimal, I'm going like complicated. Uh, I can save rounding with using this. Multiplying that statement, okay, which is the amount of euro in one pound, by the 380 pounds, will tell you how many euro the fruit eggs cost. I get an answer of 524.79. It says to near cent, so... I actually didn't include any more decimal places here, but I'm assuming the one must have been, and I've rounded it back to 7.9. Now, part B then, so we'll go back here. Uh, Frutex and Juicy are each made from mixing fruit juice and water. In Frutex, the ratio, now ratios are basically just fractions, okay? So we'll do that in a second. The, in Frutex, the ratio of fruit juice to water is 3 to 7. Now, with uh, ratios, the trick is to add the number of parts. So you get 10 parts. Now, three of those 10 are fruit juice. Seven of those 10 are water. The seven tenths, the three tenths making up the full amount. So find out how many liters of fruit juice are in 20 liters of fruit decks. Well, if there's three years in 10, there's six in 20. Okay, so basically set it here. That's your ratio written out. It's fruit is to water. That's your fraction. Okay, now I think I've done the I'm going to multiply the three tenths by twenty to get to six. Uh, in the statement pr prior to this, I said I can use logic, so that ends up with a calculation which is better, uh, and that means there are six liters of fruit juice in that um, in fruit in fruit text. Yeah. Now it's part B. Okay, we want to part C here. Oh, sorry, part B, part two. Sorry. Um, no, this is tricky. This wrecked my head, which is why I actually did up this little chart thing here. You, you don't have, this is not part of the question. Okay. So 20 litres of Frutex is mixed with 40 litres of Juicy. Okay. So you're going to have the combined. In this, in this new 60 litre mixture, the ratio of fruit juice to water is 7 to 8. Now we were never told what the ratio of uh, fruit juice and water is in Juicy. So we're going to have to back work with using this, which is where the, the problem lies. So part two there says, find the ratio of fruit juice to water in Juicy. Give your answer in the simplest form. Now, if we can go through this kind of chart here, kind of trying to use colors to make sense. Hopefully it's big enough for you to see, but this top little thing here represents the Frutex. Now, there's 20 little boxes there. That's the 20 liters of Frutex from the part A, B part two. So B part one. Now, six of those liters were fruit juice. Uh, the remainder, which will be 12, no, 14, sorry, 14 uh, liters will be water. Okay. So that juice there is going to be in our final mixture. Okay. Now, the grid here represents the ratio of juice. So we they were told in the end mixture, there's a mixture of seven to eight. Okay. So if you, if you, if you call that, um, uh, so 8 and 7 is 15. Okay, so 7 fifteenths of it is juice, 8 fifteenths is water. So it's basically, you know, half and half. Okay, 
So you can see there I've filled in seven fifteenths of the uh, sixty liters. So you just what six boxes, ten down. So those sixty boxes, twenty eight of them, seven fifteenths of sixty is twenty eight. Of them are juice. The rest is water. Okay. Now the bottom grid there shows how much of that of that juice is contributed to by the juicy. Okay. So it's this uh, six liters is. Okay. Uh, the rest of it comes from the fruit tex. So the juicy. The blue one here is the fruit is the is the fruit tex. The what's the remainder is from the juicy. Um, and that's really our answer. Okay. Um, so now in maths, okay, if I take it here, the seven eighths, okay, is seven eighths of sixty parts. So seven fifteenths is fruit juice, eight fifteenths is water. It's given to us by the ratio. That corresponds to 28 litres, so you divide the 60 by 7 you know, fifteenths, or multiply it by 7 fifteenths, um, and you're multiplying the 60 by 8 fifteenths to get the 22. So we have a new ratio here, 28 to 32, and they want in the simplest form. So I'm going to take away the what's contributed to by the fruit X, okay? So 28 take away the 6 is 22, of the water, 14 of the litres uh, from the 22, uh, you can use this 28. So your, the ratio of fruit juice to water in the juicy is 22 to 28. Simplify that, write both numbers by uh, a common denominator. I get 11 over 14. I can't go any further. There's no common denominator for 11 over 14. So that's in the simplest form. And I hope that made sense. It probably didn't because I'm going fast. I go back and look at the thing prior to this. And just try to make sense of it, but this was very, very tricky. Okay. Um, and, it, you know, that's just the way it is, I guess. Okay, so that's question four, and best luck with it, and see you in question five. Thank you.